Hey everybody, D and D recap. Fucking okay. trying to get the camera right. It's probably not even right. Like I probably fiddled. I probably made it worse because I suck. Like four fucking years of doing this, and I still haven't like put a little piece of fucking tape on the fucking thingy to be like, okay, this is where I gotta put my fucking camera so people can see me. So, anyways, got a lot of shit to recap. Um. I played all three fucking games this week, so we got Skull and Shackles. Thankfully, though, I can keep, I can do Landon's, I can hold off on Landon's recap, the Skull and Shackles recap, because uh, stuff happened, like a lot of stuff happened, but it's going to lead into something else, so I can use that as like a fucking thing, you know. I can put them together, is what I'm trying to get at. A thing. That's not even like right. <laughs> so what do we got? Um, Sykes game. A lot of fucking shit. A lot of fucking shit happening in that game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to update that one as soon as possible. But at the same time, I really kind of want to hold off because like shit's getting really fucking epic. So if I just do like one big fucking epic video about it, like that would work really fucking good because like we're going from like kicking Strahd's ass to like Strahd literally almost ripping off the arm of one of our party members and fucking violently killing three of them at least. So so that game's getting crazy. And uh, we also finally got back to playing uh, CJ's game because he's back from uh, visiting family in Texas. And it's that game's starting to pick up too because that's going to be the one I'm going to update. So I'm going to tell you about it. So... Before anything even fucking starts, Dixie has to be Dixie. And for fucking, like, the people who play in Psych Lord's game, who, like, don't really understand why I do the things I fucking do, is try playing with fucking Dixie. Because if you are a person who enjoys being the party asshole, Dixie will fucking make you up your game. Like, I was, like, when I fucking first played with Dixie, I was like, yeah, I've seen this all. Like, man. Like, even though I've seen how he DM'd, like, I should have been expecting the shit he did. Like, him and Rob cooperatively killed an entire campaign. Like, dude, like that is impressive. So, Dixie... It's basically been going around spreading rumors about mine and Abby's characters because we're the good guys. We are good. So, god damn it, fucking Dixie makes that shit fucking hard. I'm like, seriously. It's just like, god damn it, Dixie, why do you do this to me? I'm making a sincere effort to be good. And it's hard, too, because, like, last night, well, I'll get into it when we talk about it, but, like, I had, like, a really evil fucking slip last night. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, uh, Dixie spreads rumor that Abby is an escort and I am her pimp. So, he, he has, like, fucking flyers up all over town and people are coming and asking us shit and I'm just, like, fucking punching them in the stomachs. I'm like, shut up. So, um, we decide after all that's done, because we tried to question Dixie. We even zone of truth him. But God damn it. Like, even a zone of truth doesn't fucking stop Dixie. Like, seriously. And, like, I have been wrecking havoc with a zone of fucking truth in fucking Psych Lords game. Like, just like... Ooh, fucking Zone of Truth is fun. It's like, because it's like, hey, guess what? You don't even know that this has been cast. <laughs> so, like, somebody starts lying. It's like, I didn't fucking... Like, you know, they would do that. Where if they were telling the truth, where they were like, I didn't steal your bread or whatever. Like, right there. Like, they could say that. But if they were lying, it'd be all like, blah, 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 blah. So, we decided to head off to uh, the fortress that was up north, finish investigating all that stuff. 
So we get there, and it's it's old orcish architecture, but there's no orcs there. There are trolls, and we beat the fucking shit out of these trolls. Like, me specifically. Like, Abby does a lot because, you know, she's basically... She's basically Fire Princess from Adventure Time. Like, she, she has fire coming out of the wazoo. But me, I just beat fucking things. Just horribly beat them. Like, my character routinely deals... Like, he very rarely does he deal under 30 damage. Very fucking rarely. Like, it's... It's like fucking 30 to 50. Like that's his fucking, that's his range for damage when he's using his Vicious. Like if, if he's not using Vicious, then it's more like 20 to 30, which is still pretty good. But once he activates that Vicious ability on his spike chain, it's, and it hurts him, but it's like, okay, I, I dealt 50 fucking six damage to something last night. And I dealt one damage to me. That's a fucking... That's a very good fucking trade-off, in my opinion. So, we beat these fucking trolls. Rob raises them from the fucking dead. And we continue on. So, we, we start looking at this tower. And there's a book in it. And it, it says in Orcish something about architecture. Like I think it's like the secret of Orcish architecture. And really... The book should have just been called, I am fucking explosive runes. Do not read this idiot. <laughs> because like I like I knew it was explosive runes. Abby knew it was explosive runes. Rob knew it was explosive runes. Tango knew it was explosive runes. And fucking CJ knew it was explosive runes because he was the one who put it there. So I and I'm just like, fuck it. I'm gonna read it. So I read it, and it explodes, and we get hurt. <coughs> Thankfully, the tower doesn't come down on us, but like I was like, hey, I'm, I want to know about orcish architecture. I am an orc. Oh, fiddle dee it's explosive runes. <laughs> it's just like, like it's... Like, every time I, I see a book in d and I'm like, that's explosive runes. That's like, like in Psych Lord's game, that's... I did. I kind of didn't want to go into the bookstore because I was like, somebody's gonna pick up the book. That's explosive runes, and then the bookstore's gonna blow up, and we're gonna have to explain that fucking shit to fucking somebody. So, we 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 finish up there, and we go into the actual castle. And what was in the first room? So there was a fight in the first room, but I can't remember it. Hmm. Hmm. The reason I can't remember is because, like, Rob's skeletons just fucking decimated whatever it was. What was it? It wasn't undead. It wasn't another troll. I can't remember. It probably wasn't that important. So we, we check out each of the rooms, and, like progressively as we go through them because it's like in a, a circle we gotta go through because like there's this one door but it's like jammed so we can't go through it so as we progressively go through like shit gets like smellier and there's like blood everywhere and all that crap and like piles of flesh and like gross shit and we come to the last room and there's a necromancer and two zombies one of them really big so I'm like oh wait in the one room, there's a dinosaur skeleton. <laughs> you know what Rob did. <laughs> and not only did he raise the skeleton, he raised it as a flaming skeleton. So he has a flaming uh, velociraptor skeleton. And two troll skeletons. <laughs> He's got more now, but, like, th that's what he had at the end of this adventure. He's already got an undead army. So, Ra so we get in there. Like, I start, j I beat the fucking shit out of the big zombie. Again, vicious, plus one spike chain, power attack, 
22 fucking strength. Like, I'm just like, f eat a fucking bag of dicks. And you want to know the funny fucking thing? I actually was, I actually unintentionally lowered my strength in that game. My strength bonus to attack, sh well, not my strength bonus, but my overall attack bonus to damage should been 19. I was doing 17. <laughs> I didn't make that. Ex I didn't make that ex mistake for last night's game. I assure you that. So, I beat the shit out of the fucking big zombie. Abby and Dixie take out the small zombie, and Rob's undead mercilessly butcher the fucking necromancer. I help too because I get down there and I'm right next to the necromancer, and he tries to move away from me. He's already going to get two fucking attack opportunities from the giant fucking troll skeletons. But more importantly, I have a little feat called Step Up, which allows me, if the fucking person makes a five-foot step, I can make a five-foot step, but I sacrifice my five-foot step for the next round. Which, that doesn't matter, because if you're going up against a spellcaster and you can do that, they can't get out of your fucking reach the fucking, you know, cast their fucking spells without an attack of opportunity. So it's like, okay, go ahead, step away. Oh, hi. Hi, Buttercup. How's it going? I'm going to hit you with my spike chain. So the troll skeletons and I, we just, we mercilessly beat this guy into un unconsciousness. And this is where I have my evil slip because that's where the game ended for the one night. And then we picked it up back there. So, we we broke his hands, so he couldn't cast spells, and we gagged him. But my character, and I didn't say this, it wasn't my character, it was me, which makes this a lot fucking worse. I wanted to be like, I want to break his jaw. I want to break his jaw. He can't cast spells if he has a broken jaw. Maybe we should remove his teeth, or his tongue. And then it's like... Oh, he might cat. He might have a quick inside. He might have a still silent magic missile on him. I'm like, okay, I know what we need to do. We need to cut open his head and pour some acid into his brain, and then he can't fucking cast spells because I'm pretty sure that will take out a huge chunk of his intelligence. And Rob and Dixie are just like, you're ridiculous, evil. You're like fucking. You're the Mussolini, because we got into, like, this talk. I was like, Rob's the Hitler of evil, and fucking Dixie is fucking the Stalin of evil in d and I And I was like, I'm the Gaddafi of evil in d and I'm wacky. And then they were like, no, you're the fucking Mussolini of d and You can't do anything unless it fucking doesn't involve us. And you know what? I would like to say El Che. So, again... I am the Gaddafi of evil in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> really weird analogy. So we take him back to town. Dixie tries to fuck over Rob at the local temple of Paylor, but it doesn't quite work out for him. In fact, Dixie had a really fucking bad roll night last night because he tried to spread some more rumors and it kind of backfired on him. So now me and Abby actively know it's his fucking character doing it. So, because, like, he fucking botched a rumor monger in check. So, that's not good for him. I mean, I'm not going to do anything. I might, you know, my character, would probably, you know, since the neutral good, I'd probably be like, hey, stop it. You know, stop it. So we do that. Um, we also get the keep. We get, we get to keep the keep because Rob, Rob, fuck, Rob and Abby did not have a bad roll night last night, and they managed to convince that the Lord, like, hey, you know, it's a good idea for us to keep that thing, and maybe you should send some guards there. So we're it's now this is basically turning into Keenmaker, the revenge of Keenmaker, because <laughs> Rob's like, I bet Rob's, I bet Rob's like. He's still got, like, there's a lot of shit I wanted to do that I never got to do in Keymaker. There's a lot of shit I wanted to do I never got to do in Keymaker 2, but I can't really do it because I'm the fucking fighter. Ah, well. 
Although Dixie could probably fuck it. I can live vicariously through Dixie's characters. Um, so we got, we, we start hitting up and there's a, there's a ward pack. Wards. Got, you know, if you see the Hobbit, you know them. So they fuck it. They do some, they, they get us pretty good. Like they managed to trip one of Rob's skeletons. They managed to trip Abby. But again, Rob has a small undead army and I fucking could punch God in the face. So, <laughs> we defeat the Wargs. In fact, one of them tries to run away, but it gets pounced by a fucking Velociraptor skeleton that's on fire. So, Rob once again fucking magically raises two of the Warg skeletons, and no surprise, surprise, they're on fire. And, um, so we keep hitting up, and we, we get, we, we're getting closer to the fort. And we see, like, a little girl out in the woods. Just like, that, that's queer. Hmm. Let's go investigate. So we start going up. Dixie falls asleep. And then me and Rob become incredibly, incredibly fucking tired. So, something's fucking fishy. Abby gets up and she, she finds out that the little girl isn't real. She's an illusion. So she yells out it's an illusion so we can disbelieve the illusion. And that's when the fuck mother and slender man comes out. A fucking baloney Sith comes out too. And yeah, fuck you CJ. That one's for fucking you. A baloney Sith. So <laughs> So so I beat I fucking killed Slender Man last night. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, I fucking, I mean, he, he fucking got me good. He did. He got me with some, a lot of bleed damage. But, again, I could fucking, you know, I could make God taste the fucking shame. You know, so, it's just like fucking, eat fucking a bag of dicks, Slender Man. Like, you're dead. Uh, the fucking... The undead, like, Rob's undead surround the fucking baloney Sith and just, like, it's it's a fucking horror movie. They're, they're just, like, it's fuck. In the end, Rob ends up, like, fucking Mercy killing her. <laughs> like, he shoots a crossbow bolt into her head. But that's not the end of the fight, because right as we take her down, two red caps come out. And red caps are nasty. Think evil smarts. Like that's that's like a red cap. Think evil Smurfs in iron boots. Evil Smurfs in iron boots. That sounds like a fucking badass metal band fucking album thing. I don't know. So so we have to fight the red caps. They're they're pretty fucking nasty because they like they are fucking they are just ripping into Rob and Abby. Dixie manages to get some good hits in on them. I get I, I managed to take down one on myself and then the rest of the party manages to get the other two down. I mean not the other two, the other one down. And uh that's kinda where we stopped because we went pretty long for CJ's game. Like it was after midnight when we stopped. And I was like passing out too. That's why I kinda I had like a lot of detail for a lot of the other things, but like when it came to when we were finding the red caps I wasn't really I was like half passing out then because you know that's like fucking that's like that weird fucking thing like my weird sleep cycle thing i've yeah you know, i've talked about it on here a while now but now it's swinging in the other way like i like after 10 o'clock i can barely stay up now it's it's i it's annoying so that's the game for that's cj's game for this fucking uh week well, not actually, because we're probably playing again Friday, so... Well, fuck you. Like, I don't know. I don't end videos good, okay? I don't. I don't begin videos good, and I don't end videos good. It's like the middle shit. It's like an Oreo. My videos are the Oreos of YouTube. You have that nasty, brown, chocolate cookie fucking crap, and then you have some sweet 
gooey, not frost and frost and fluff in the middle. And then you have more of the fucking nasty brown fucking cookie cracker. Anyways, fucking NVIDIA. Fuck. I'm going to tell you about it. So, before anything even fucking starts, Dipsy has to be Dipsy. And for fucking, like, the people who play in Psych Lord's game, who, like, don't really understand why I do the things I fucking do, is try playing with fucking Dipsy. Because if you are a person who enjoys being the party asshole, Dipsy will fucking make you up your game. Like, I was, like, when I fucking first played with Dixie, I was like, yeah, I've seen this all. Hey, everybody, D&D recap. Fucking I'm trying to get the camera right. It's probably not even right. Like, I probably fiddled. I probably made it worse. Because I suck. Like, four fucking years of doing this, and I still haven't, like, put a little piece of fucking tape on the fucking thingy to be like, okay, this is where I gotta put my fucking camera so people can see me. So, anyways, got a lot of shit to recap. Um, cause I played all three fucking games this week, so we got Skull and Shackles. Thankfully, though, I can keep, I can do Landon's, I can hold off on Landon's recap, the Skull and Shackles recap, because, uh, stuff happened, like a lot of stuff happened, but it's gonna lead into something else, so I can use that as, like, a fucking thing, you know? I can put them together. That's what I'm trying to get at. A thing. That's not even, like, right. <laughs> so, what do we got? Um, Sykes game. A lot of fucking shit. A lot of fucking shit happening in that game. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to update that one as soon as possible. But at the same time, I really kind of want to hold off. Because, like, shit's getting really fucking epic. So, if I just do, like, one big fucking epic video about it, like, that would work really fucking good. Because, like, we're going from, like, kicking Strahd's ass to, like, Strahd literally almost ripping off the arm of one of our party members and fucking violently killing three of them, at least. So, so that game's getting crazy. And, uh, we also finally got back to playing uh, CJ's game because he's back from uh, visiting family in Texas. And it's that game's starting to pick up, too, because that's going to be the one I'm going to update. So. Oh, like, even though I've seen how he DM'd, like, I should have been expecting the shit he did. Like, him and Rob cooperatively killed an entire campaign. Like, dude, like that is impressive. So... Dixie has basically been going around spreading rumors about mine and Abby's characters because we're the good guys. We are good. So, god damn it, fucking Dixie makes that shit fucking hard. I'm, like, seriously. 